In this video, we'll cover some things you need to know before you begin operating a Vermeer brush chipper. This information is not intended to replace the operator's manual. Before running any machine, please read and understand the machine's operator's manual located on the machine. Study all of the safety signs on the machine. Study the safety practices on the rental center guide. If you are unsure of any information in the manual or on the machine, ask your rental associate to assist you. Please follow the next steps and safety tips before operating a Vermeer brush chipper. It starts with proper machine setup. Set up the brush chipper in an area free of obstacles and never under a tree that's being pruned or removed. The machine should remain attached to the tow vehicle at all times. Ensure the feed table height is a minimum of 24 inches off the ground and rotate and lock the discharge chute to direct the chips away from the work area. Keep everyone not operating the machine away from the machine and work area while it's in operation. Once you are ready to work, you will need to wear personal protective equipment or PPE when on the job site and operating the machine. This includes wearing a hard hat, safety shoes, and hearing and eye protection. If you wear gloves, they must have narrow, tight-fitting cuffs. If you will be working near traffic, you need to wear reflective clothing that satisfies your local regulations. Also, it's important to understand that limbs can snag clothing and put the operator at serious risk of being pulled into the machine. Now it's time for proper machine operation. First and foremost, never climb onto the feed table and keep a safe distance from the rotating feed roller and blades. When feeding material into the brush chipper, do so from the side of the feed table, never behind it. Feed the base of the limb first and use a wood object to push shorter material into the feed roller. Never push material with hands, feet, rakes, shovels, or other non-wood objects. To reduce the risk of being struck by material, release the limb immediately after it begins feeding, then turn away. You are now ready to watch the next chapter on machine startup and shutdown. After you are equipped with the appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE, and properly set up your job site, you are ready to start the machine. When starting the machine, place the throttle to the low idle position and the upper feed control bar to the center stop position. Now you are ready to start the engine, then allow it to warm up. Move the throttle to maximum engine speed and the cutter disc will engage automatically. Pull the upper feed control bar into the forward feed position. Then push the reset hold to run button on either side toward the rear of the machine. The feed roller will start rotating in the forward position to pull material into the brush chipper. Note that when the engine speed drops below the selected RPM because of heavy chipping, the smart feed feature will momentarily reverse and stop the feed roller. The feed roller will automatically restart once the engine speed returns to maximum RPM. On occasion, an engine stall can occur when there is material plugging the chute. If this happens, place the upper control bar into the center stop position. Then move the throttle lever to the low idle position. With the throttle at low idle, use the upper control bar to reverse the material out of the feed roller. Then increase engine speed to full RPM to engage the cutter disc and resume feeding the material. When you're ready to shut down the brush chipper, place the upper control bar into the center stop position. Reduce the engine throttle to idle and the cutter disc will automatically disengage. You are now clear to turn off the engine and remove the key. Finally, check the front cutter housing slots to ensure disc rotation has stopped before leaving or transporting the machine. Now you are ready to watch the next chapter on machine operation. Follow along the next steps for tips on how to safely and properly operate a Vermeer brush chipper. If you are wearing gloves, they must have narrow, tight-fitting cuffs do not wear gauntlet-style cuffed gloves. Once you have started up the brush chipper, feed the material from the side of the feed table, never directly behind it. Feed the base or large end of the log or branch into the chipper first. To reduce the risk of being struck by material, 
Release the limb immediately after it begins feeding, then turn away. Use a wood object to push shorter material into the feed roller. Never push material with hands, feet, rakes, shovels, or other non-wood objects. Keep away from the rotating feed roller and never climb onto the feed table. There are multiple ways to stop brush chipper feeding. You can push upper feed control bar toward the front of the machine into the center stop position, or pull the upper feed control bar toward the rear of the machine into the e-stop position, or push the lower feed stop bar toward the front of the machine. If the feed roller plugs or stalls, push the upper control bar to reverse feed position. Reposition or trim the oversized material and refeed it into the chipper. If the cutter disc or discharge chute plug, see the operator's manual on how to properly shut down and unplug the machine. You are now ready to watch the next chapter on machine transport. When transporting the machine, the first thing to discuss is your transport vehicle. It must have a towing capacity of 2,000 pounds and connections for safety chains and highway lights. Make sure you have the correct hitch connection style and size. If the brush chipper is equipped with optional electric brakes, the tow vehicle must be equipped with an automatic electric brake controller and connected breakaway cable. To transport the brush chipper, fold up and latch the feed table. Rotate and lock the discharge chute so it's facing the tow vehicle. Inspect the chipper hitch connection, wheels, tires, and highway lights for condition and proper operation. And then stow the tongue jack. You are now ready to transport your Vermeer brush chipper. Always refer to the product's operator's manual for safety messages and further instructions.